Hey everyone, I want to talk to you guys about the Sync Up Drive. Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. So, I want to talk to you guys about this Sync Up Drive and kind of show you how easy it is to install by showing you on my car. So, essentially goes right into the OBD sensor, which is right down here. You see my device right there. Plugs into your car, super easy to use. So the sync up drive. I've had the sync up drive on my, in my car for a couple of years now, and it legitimately has saved me over a thousand dollars. Um, now, I'll tell you about those two experiences real quick. So, uh, the first experience uh, had to do with a, a car accident. So, my father was borrowing my car. I never let anyone borrow my car because I'm always paranoid by you know, parents and whatever. Let him borrow my car and he ended up getting into a fender bender at the bank. Now, the, the lady said that he backed into her, she said, he said that she backed into him, there was no cameras, so uh, both insurances had to take care of their own thing, which, you know, my insurance, and I drive a sports car, so I was like, great. So, turns out, we gave the little ZTE, we gave the little, uh, little device, this little guy, oh wait, I unplugged it, I gave this little guy uh, to my insurance agent, and uh, my, insurance, my insurance agent was able to pull off of it, and they were actually able to see that my vehicle was in first gear when the, the crash initiated. And so that was really cool because I didn't have to pay, my insurance rates didn't go up, I didn't pay anything for it, and it was all taken care of, and, and that could have been a, a situation that would have had in, increased insurance rates for a while, and who knows what else. So if somebody is, um, borrowing your car, you can have full GPS, you'll know where they go, you'll be able to see if they are accelerating too fast or braking too harshly. Uh, it's just really nice to know if somebody borrows your car, you know if they're speeding or they're going too crazy in your vehicle. Um, it's also nice if you have kids, you, you'll you know that like, hey, uh, your, my, little, my little app says that you went 95 on the freeway or, or whatever. You can even set it, if you have kids that drive, you can set it so it's like, Anytime my kid goes over 75 miles an hour, I want a text message to go to my phone so I know. Or you can even set it up like, my, my kid is not allowed to leave this county. If he leaves this county, um, I want a notification. Or my kid is supposed to be in school from, from you know, nine in the morning, eight, seven in the morning, whenever school starts, up until three, four, five o'clock at night, whenever it ends. Uh, if the car leaves the school parking lot during that time, I want a notification. So you can set stuff up like that. Um, you can also uh, track your miles for business. So uh, I used to pay 10 bucks for an, an app. I found another app that did everything I wanted to for $5, but still, I was paying five bucks a month and all it did was track my mileage. And I can say, this is personal, personal, personal business, business, personal business. And then it gave me a report on an Excel sheet at the end of the year. Um, this has that included in it. So if you do any type of business trips or anything, uh, you don't need to do a logbook in your car. And then also it's a security system. So if you end up, um, if you end up, if somebody breaks your window or um, it'll, it'll send alert on your phone, uh, sometimes I'll be in a sketchy area and it's just nice to know that, hey, if somebody does break my car window or, or anything, I'm gonna get a text message and it's gonna let me know so I can just run out there. Uh, what else? Jeez, that's so much. Oh, okay. It also uh, provides internet in your car. So, uh, it's a hotspot. So, you can have two kids in the backseat, and they can be doing Netflix and, you know, Spotify or whatever, and they can be doing their own thing, and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, downloading movies on your tablet or anything like that. It has the internet included. Uh, Uber drivers love the sync up drive because it, you know you can tell your, your passengers like hey uh, there's free Wi-Fi there's no password attached to it or or you can put a password if you want whatever um, but yeah now the one of the things I really love about this this sync up drive is 
Um, I used to have something called LoJack. If you don't know what LoJack is, Google it right now and look it up. Because this is the 95% off version of LoJack. I don't want to say like, hey, this is exactly like LoJack, because it's not. But tons of the features, most of the features on LoJack is on this device, which is sweet. Because LoJack costs $700 to $1,500 for LoJack. This guy's coming for free. So you're going to be able to do, you're going to be able to track GPS 24-7. You're going to be able to get internet. You're going to be able to find out if people are accelerating too fast, braking too harshly. If people are speeding in your car. If people are going places they're not supposed to. If anybody breaks in, you have the geofences. You have roadside assistance. This thing is so jam-packed worth of stuff. If you were to buy LoJack, Compared to, to the sync up drive, you're going to be spending uh, the $900 package for LoJack, or you can get the free sync up drive. Uh, it, even if it's not free, you're paying like 70 bucks a month for it. So, or sorry, not a month, uh, 70 bucks total for the device, and then you're just paying for the service on, on the device itself. But this promotion is is super sweet, um, and if you have kids that are new to drivers, or if you have company vehicles for sure. Um, you know, or if, if you ever let anyone borrow your car, if you ever nervous about your car getting broken into or, or stolen, or uh, this device is perfect. It's the most cost-effective device that's on the market that has the best, um, the most amount of value behind it. And that's that's one of my favorite things about T-Mobile. They jam-pack everything that they have full of so much value, and then they undercut people. I know this isn't about the sync up drive, but uh, a third party company just did a, a, a plan analysis on T-Mobile and Verizon and Sprint AT&T. And they said just with T-Mobile alone, for every line you have, not the account, for each individual line you have on T-Mobile One with T-Mobile, you're saving over $1,500 a year in free stuff that they're giving you with the Netflix, with the taxes and fees included, with, with all this cool stuff that they're doing. Uh, T-Mobile Tuesday, <coughs> the you know Stateside International, all the stuff they just get free in your plan. Um, T-Mobile is the best at that. So not only is T-Mobile undercutting prices on their voice plans, but they're also giving you fifteen hundred dollars a line full of free stuff. That's crazy. A family of four gets six grand worth of free stuff. That just is mind blowing, but the sync up drive is absolutely in that same avenue. But now T-Mobile is giving it away completely free on Friday. All you have to do is add a, a mobile internet line. If you just want to do two gigs, you can. If you want to go all up to 22 gigs, you can too. It doesn't matter. So I just wanted to let you know about this promotion because if you know if if the product matches your needs, then then this is the time to get it because. You're not gonna get it cheaper anywhere else. You're not gonna get a better product um, for less money that offers more. This is it. So, at any rate, uh, hopefully that was informative. I tend to ramble and get really excited <laughs> about everything in my life. But, uh, yeah. Uh, go to your T-Mobile store. Talk to your T-Mobile rep. This is an awesome deal. Um, and they'll be able to hook you up starting Friday, December 7th. Friday, December 7th, 2018. That's when the promotion starts. Awesome. Okay, so the promotion, uh, pretty simple. All you have to do is activate a two gigabyte or higher mobile internet line at T-Mobile, which is 10 bucks. If you do that, you'll get the sync up drive for free. It will be billed, it will be credited to you every single month over 24 months on, on your bill. Now, I wasn't gonna do this, but I figured since I already talked about it so much, I might as well kind of show you the app. So, uh, if you ever want to look at the app before you buy it and kind of you know, um, check it out yourself, you can just go to any T-Mobile store. They have the app there um, uh, next to like a little demo device of the of the sync up drive, and you can actually mess around with it yourself. Um, and then, of course, 
people at T-Mobile know about the device, they can answer any questions. So uh, let's kind of just dive into the app real quick and, and I'll show you the basics of it. Um, on your landing page, you essentially, you'll see a map. The map just shows you where your vehicle is at the current time. It shows you the actual address where it's parked. And it makes it nice if you ever park in the big you know, mall or huge parking lot or Disneyland or whatever, that, that's very helpful. Um, and then you can see some basic uh, information about your car, basic stats, basic um, you know, battery life, the gas and whatnot. You can actually go into it and, and um, see service bulletins, recalls, a couple other things. Um, underneath that you, you'll see um, an actual trip that you um, just recently took, if we dive into it. It'll show you the actual route that you took on, on the map and it'll actually show you um, where you rapid accelerated, where you, um, you know, broke too, too harshly, um, which is nice. It also tells you how far you've gone, what your max speed was, your fuel efficiency. Um, it tells you all kinds of cool stuff. So, and um, below that you'll see trip history. If you go there, you'll see every single trip that you have taken. And this is where you can categorize it for business, for personal, or um, whatnot. But you can go into each individual trip and, and check out what, what happened. So, um, so you don't have to check it every single day. Um, you know, if, if, if you're um, looking at your drivers or a kid and you, you want to see how they're driving, um, you can check it out once a week and just go through the search history, which is really nice. Um, and then on the very bottom, you'll see your hotspot. Uh, that's where you can put in, in um, turn on your your internet. So if you go into the little uh, you know sidebar, you'll see a couple of more options. <coughs> um, roadside assistance. That's very easy. You just click it, and then there'll be a there'll be one button on the next page, which is call, um, and then you'll call roadside assistance. Um, all they'll ask you is what vehicle you're in and where you're at, and um, then they'll come, there'll be no exchange of money, uh, no ID checking, so that way if anybody borrows your car, they can use that roadside assistance and, and they'll be taken care of. Um, below that, you'll be able to see a list of all your cars, so if you have, you know, a couple kids and you have both their, both of them on, on your sync up, um, on their own sync up, you can... Um, uh, you can have multiple cars on here, or if you have like a fleet of cars, you can have the fleet of cars on here. You can dive more into the hotspot. The geofences are nice if, if you ever have a, um, if you ever park your car somewhere and, and you, so there's kind of two alarms. You can put the alarm where if somebody like flicks your doorknob or breaks your window, you'll get a text message. You can do that or or and um, a, a geofence. So you can say like, hey, if anyone drives outside of this little my driveway, um, then it'll send the alarm. Anyways, that's where you can go and you can set up your little geofences or I don't want my son leaving this county or the school during these hours. Um, all that will be done in there. Um, and then notifications, that's where you can set up your notifications where you can say, if, you know, if this vehicle ever goes over 65 or 70 or whatever, send me a text message. And then you can turn off distracted driving and, and yeah, so, um, I'd say it's a pretty cool device. Um, I think that's about it. I'm pretty sure I, I explained everything. If I did miss anything, um, I'm sorry. Um, I will leave a bunch of links down below. I did mention some third-party stuff, and I, I, I mentioned some things throughout this video. So uh, anything that I did mention, I will uh, put a link down below so you can check it out for yourself. And uh, yeah, I believe that's it. Again, this channel is something I'm just going to be posting all the promotions going on with T-Mobile, anything new going on with T-Mobile. Um, and I'm probably going to be talking about transitioning into like you know tech reviews and talking about the other carriers and price plans and um, I will be going over everything essentially T-Mobile so um, and and this whole industry actually so um, at any rate I really appreciate everybody um, and yeah I'll see you in the next video.